Hey, what's up guys, we're in a new video and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sample game in Unreal in Game 4. So the first thing we're going to be doing is just going to content and create a new folder. It's going to be called my own, because here's where I'm going to place my own content. So well, instead of my own, we're going to be placing in the uh, blueprint, no sorry, a folder and call this uh, are that going to be all my hats and um, blueprints instead of hats let's create new user interface blueprint widget and call this uh, build hat underscore o1 reopen this one and well, we're going to be modifying this one until we get the perfect one. But this isn't going to be the perfect one. We just duplicate this and we paste right now and take this text and make this much big. Click the button, size the content, click this content and make it smaller. Oh my god. And just type in next page. And in this one is going to be same build structure, and the button is gonna be size to content. <laughs> so uh, yes, now compile and put it right here. Okay. Um. Go to first person blueprints, blueprints, first person character, and add some two new variables. This is going to be spawn location, location. It's going to be a vector variable, and this one is spawn rotation. So this one is going to be a rotator variable. So we're going to make a new event tick and make a sequence sequence and now move this in here and we make a spawn location set this one spawn rotation set this one okay now we go to the graphic window and at a cube, okay? We don't care about the sizes or the collision, okay? Collision must be no collision, so we don't care much about that. Because if this has some collision, it will be pulling so other physics items or meshes or something in the world. So right now, we just compile and I think we can be going right here and make a sketch world location of cube and this one sketch world lo no 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 location no rotation no location is rotation for a rotator okay so now um this will be uh, every time, every second uh, happening in our wall, every tick, uh, just getting saying those variables to the location of and rotation of this cube right there. Then we go right here and unclick. Uh, we're going to be making cast to first. Person character get player character and just then move this right in here. Uh, then we're going to be making a get location, get the spawn location, and get rotation. No, get pound rotation. Okay. <laughs> so 
now these boats are going to be working for spawning some structures right there in this sample cane so we're going to make a spawn and uh, it's going to be a new blueprint that we're going to be making we create transformation and we can't get world as you can see we can't do that so that's why I'm doing those variables so we get this and we get this the scale is not actual actually necessary okay so just don't do that um, if we compile now I will say an error because we have to select a class so for selecting a class of what we're going to be spawning we're going to blueprint and create a new blueprint after and call this uh, test wall one so test wall one we're going to uh, test the cube we're going to make this mother put this up and we're compiling and it's just done get the test wall one let's try out if this works or not I oh, will not I forgot to make to show this building hat so how do we show the building hat in the game we just press tab and make a new variable that's going to be is in of inventory open and it's a boolean variable we're going to make set control c control v down here on make a branch get this variable here get connect right there move those one down here um so if inventory it's true that's open it will close it and if it's false that's open it will if it's false that's closed it will open it so if it's closed it gets open if it's open it gets closed so what we're gonna do if this close is just remove all widgets and create uh, create widget yes or if you want to just yes, put this down here however we don't care because it will be open of an image you won't see it's open just if you're printing a screen something that says your inventory has been opened uh, nothing will happen so yes choose this one and add to viewport so compile we're gonna to make this happen so tap and disappears and disappears you see so next page is going to be for when you just have to craft in different iron we're going to be modifying that so build a structure shift plus f1 shift and uh, shift and f1 to move your mouse as, uh, as it is up here when you start playing so you should know you press right here and this is pound let's try out again this is pound okay but as you can see the wall is facing right there so you have to keep that in mind when you're making your blueprint so yes have to rotate your blueprint one different orientation yes test wall must be with x uh, looking right there okay x was looking in with this in this way now it's looking right there so must be with y of this mesh looking at x of your gear grid so grid down there so yes let's do it again and as you can see now it's looking like that we're gonna be just trying to put this right here and make a kind of wall well you have to count that is smaller okay
so now what we need is just a way to mark how is this going to be spawning okay before we build it so is in here we can make a button we copy this and we paste it and you want it I just wanted to copy and paste okay now I've got copied this button and this one is going to be same pre here okay let's sec okay now preview this is a preview when you click this button button on click on click it will be spawning uh, okay blueprints test wall preview okay we're going to duplicate this and call this uh, test wall preview so this is test wall preview that's going to be just like the same but we will make it with a transparent material and after a second it will be delete or something like that so yes first uh, I'm going to delete this right now and I'm going to be trying out something in a sec well guys I've been doing something right now and I'm going to show you what I made well I was wondering how to make a, pre a preview so now I've been trying out something and I think this is the better thing I have made preview and as you can see it's following you yes kind of uh, teleporting or something like that you know so like epileptic moving <laughs> well it doesn't matter it's going cool let's build the structure and it's done now we press F and this yes this appears so if we make a preview it says press F to cancel preview so we press the F and it disappears right now. So <coughs> actually, let's find. Uh, yes, let's show you how I made it. I just copy the same thing uh, for this other button I made on click action and copy all this whole thing down here. And I change it uh, the spawning theme by a copy of this one that's the same underscore pre war preview so in here preview it will spawn and it's the same and at the end print the string and in the string is uh, press F to cancel preview um, in 2D preview mesh we just made a center yes because this was attaching to the queue of at, the f at your uh, feet the, the mesh not the whole blueprint so this will be just really weird to see how it is okay it will be teleporting yes into the floor and looking like that okay not like it should it should be uh, it, it's going to be spanning so create one mesh and call this center and make it uh type in here visibility you check and check this right here and it will be invisible because in q you see it checked and it's visible this queue. I put it that transparent blue texture, sorry, material I made. Yes, it's right here. We I just right click and create new material. We go inside. <coughs> and in material domain is surface mode, mode of combining or, or something like that. Yes, of combination is yes, translucent, is transparent. So you can see through it and uh, without the illuminations and um, just I go into star content materials open the class and I took this control C and control V and I paste it in right here because I don't know how to make this palm right now I think it's palm uh, I don't know how to make it so I cut it and paste it into opacity and connect uh, three vector I put it the color I wanted to use and connect it to base color that this actually is a wo isn't working and to emission color so just close this right now no 
so uh, um then into right here I make an event tick and uh, enable input with player controller it get player controller cast the first person character get player character and we get both of those variables and we set world location from Q sorry from center of this center right here okay that's an invisible mesh um, we set it to this spawn location and also the same for the rotation we have made set world location you okay but I made it with center not cube okay and the same for rotation and on F press it will destroy itself because with F we can sell that um, preview mode so with F you destroy it so how that's how I made the preview so well guys this first tutorial was about making a uh, simple basic blueprints for making spawning items. In the next tutorial we will be seeing how to make uh, items that you can pick up that will count for building structures as bricks, adhesives and all that different stuff for making different items or planks of wood or stone or item. However, whatever you want to make your own structures. So in the next tutorial we'll see how to do that. So thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Goodbye.